This is Philip Tracy with RCR Wireless News at NI Week 2016. I'm here with Kenneth Leach. He is the IoT Solutions Engineer at Hewlett Packard. And he's going to talk to us about a demo that really caught a lot of people's attention at the keynote on day one here. Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Kenneth Leach. I help design some of these solutions that you can see here at NI Week. Uh, I work for the HPE Edgeline Systems Group so that we can uh, create IoT solutions through, through our Edgeline products. Uh, what we've done here with NI, with a partnership with NI and also with a software partner called PTC, we've created an IoT solution for um, smart pump condition monitoring. So we are doing predictive analysis, uh, predictive maintenance, and machine learning of a pump system in this case. And what we're doing, how we're doing that is we're acquiring real-time data in real-time from a National Instruments uh, Rio device. This is an M-series device. And we're connecting through a Mixi cable, MXI, to our new EL1000 product. So this is taking a sensor input directly into our chassis where we're running a lab view and converting analog to digital in real time on our EL1000, which is running our M510 server cartridge, one of our brand new cartridges that can host up to, hold up to 16 cores of Broadwell DE processors and up to 128 gigabytes of memory in a very low power footprint. We also have converged in this box. This is, this is our converged IoT platform. In this box, we've converged the data acquisition, data center level compute capabilities, and also ILO technology, which is from our ProLiant server line, to have a data center class remote manageability of these systems out on the edge. What we're doing in the software stack on this pump system is running PTC ThingWorks. We're also providing an augmented reality solution through PTC, and we're able to do the predictive modeling, um, you know, training of the pump to determine what is a normal operating state of a pump system, in this case, uh, for the one like you see behind you. And also, we're constantly tracking the current values and applying them to the known good model so that we can determine if there are any anomalies that are occurring in this system. So, you say predictive, so that means even before anything fails, you know that something might happen so that you don't have to shut down the system and use all that time to, to get anything fixed, you know, before even before it breaks. Yeah, so predictive maintenance really just provides a better, uh, more efficient business process of maintaining your systems. If you can have a better prediction, uh, a guess, of when these systems will need maintenance, then you can pr plan for that downtime rather than waiting for a massive failure to occur. And you can have uh, you know, quite a bit of a TCO and uh, more efficient business processes based on having planned maintenance rather than unplanned maintenance. Absolutely, and on stage you showed us an augmented reality, which I think really sure. caught people's attention. If you could just go over that real fast. So right now, the, the pump system is running in an optimal state. You can see that we have lots of green uh, marks. No anomalies are currently being detected. Predictive, the predictive maintenance is also um, determining that we have multiple days, 422 days in this case, until there is a mechanical seal failure. Wow. Everything looks like it's uh, very healthy on this system. And also, in our, we can see that in real time out on the edge. So say if our technicians are coming to monitor this pump and determine if it, if it needs any maintenance or if they've been sent out because of an anomaly, then they can use their smart devices with augmented reality to be able to see in real time the same data values that, that you can see in the control center. Wow, but let's incredible. go ahead and, just, and do an error. Yeah. And then we'll see how this changes. Perfect. So I'm going to reach down here and I misaligned the motor and the pump. You can see a little. You can hear a little bit of vibration going on in the background. And then, if we want to watch our augmented reality, you can see how it just changed. It's predicting that we could have, with this current condition, if we continue to run this, we could have mechanical seal failures within 13 days. We could also have bearing failures within five days. That this type of misalignment is very bad on pumps and motors. And so, what we're able to do is then dispatch technicians out immediately. They can then identify the anomalies, they can see the vibration, how it's out of bounds, and they also can then 
determine how to fix it. Say if they're a new technician and they, they need some assistance, uh, they can either try to pull out their paper operator's manuals or call someone else for help, or we can use augmented reality to overlay training videos. <laughs> wow. And then we can show those technicians how to repair this system based on the, the anomaly detected. And so that's really the power of the augmented reality. We can put all of this uh, data that technicians can't see in front of them, and we can put it at their fingertips through these types of systems running out at the edge in real time. Get rid of the guessing game. Yeah, we're trying to. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you, Kenneth. I really appreciate it. No problem. Thanks. Yep.